most important SEC games of the year. Guys, this is not based on um, (laughs) – this is not based on, I guess, rivalries and stuff like that. I am basing this on SEC championship and college football playoff. That is what I'm basing this on. That is all I'm basing it on. I'm not basing it on anything else. If you come in here and say a certain game, it should be higher because of a rivalry, go ahead. That's not what I'm basing this on. I do, if I do think it's kind of in that, like I said, if it's, if I thought this was the 12th most important game, but it's a rivalry, I might have pushed it up into the top 10, but there's, I think there's only two when we get to the list. Um, we will get to that in one second. And number one, guys, I don't think there's really a debate here. It's Texas and Georgia. You have number one preseason versus number two preseason. Last time these teams met was in the 2019 Sugar Bowl. Texas took care of business 28 to 21. Um, And what is this? Number one versus number four in the country, according to the coaches poll. I think it's the biggest um, conference game of the year. I really do. I'm trying to think what else could even push it. Ohio State and Oregon, obviously. I think those are number one and number two in the country conference game-wise. I think this game could determine whether or not Georgia plays in the SEC championship game. And I know people are going to be like, what? You don't have Georgia in the SEC championship game? My predictions might say Georgia doesn't make the SEC championship game. I haven't decided on that, but it's going to be very questionable because Texas has – I mean, Georgia has a lot of games on here. We're going to get to this. They have what? In my top ten, three – the first three games involve Georgia. They have a very hard schedule, and I predicted them not to make the college football playoff last year. I bet I was the only one, guys. I'd love for you to find anyone else that didn't predict Georgia and make the not make the uh, college football playoff. I didn't, and I think they'll make it this year, but I don't know about that SEC championship game. So I have Texas and Georgia number one. Number two, this tells you where I land on how I am on Alabama. I have Georgia at Alabama. These are nine of the last ten SEC champions. Nine of the last 10 SEC champions. That is crazy. Uh, Last regular season meeting was October 17, 2020, so it's been a minute. Uh, Alabama won that one in Tuscaloosa, 41-24. I think Georgia is going to be looking for some revenge here. But again, Georgia plays all their tough games, like really tough games on the road for the most part. Um, It's a hell of a game, guys. It's going to be – this season is going to be so fun, and this is just a little taste of it right there with the first two. Next up, I got Georgia again. I got Georgia versus Ole Miss. This is number one for number four SEC preseason, number one versus number six in the coaches poll that just came out for the whole season. Last meeting was last year, 52-17. to Georgia absolutely killed Ole Miss, annihilated them. Lane Kiffin has to win a big game. And this game has to be circled going into the season. Has to. I'm trying to think what Lane Kiffin's big win is. I guess it's last year versus Penn State in a bowl game. That's really it, guys. I can't think of anything else. LSU last year, maybe. But this is a truly big game. This could be the number one team in the country going into Oxford to play you. If you have national championship aspirations, you have to win this game, in my opinion. If you have college football playoff aspirations, which they should with that talent and that roster and this coaching staff, they need to be competitive. You cannot lose this game 52 to 17 again. If you lose this game 52 to 17, I will be done taking Old Miss serious as a program. You have enough talent to compete with Georgia. Let's see if you can do this X's and O's wise. I thought they had enough talent to beat Bama last year, especially when Bama was down trying to figure out who the quarterback was and they couldn't do that. So Lane Kiffin needs to win this game or at least compete a, like heavily. Like this game should be 34 31 came down to the last couple minutes of the game. For me to take Ole Miss seriously, I have this as number three. I think it's going to be a hell of a game. Two um, contradicting styles. Georgia wants to slam it at you. Ole Miss wants to throw it uh, over you. Um, number four, I have Missouri at Alabama. Number six in the preseason SEC poll versus number three. Bama is five and two all time. The last meeting came in 2020. It came in Columbia, Missouri. Alabama won this game 38 to 19. I think this is a really good season. Do I think Miss Missouri is being overrated slightly? Yes, I do. But I still think they're a top 15 team legitimately this year. Uh, they're a really good football team with a lot of returning production. And I'm high on Bama. This is a hell of a game. I think it will determine a college football playoff spot potentially. That's why I have it in number four. This one may be a little bit higher then I should have put it, honestly. I have number five. I have Bama at LSU. Last time they played was last year. Alabama won 42-28 with Jalen Daniels, the Heisman Trophy winner, getting hurt. 
I'm not as high on LSU as the SEC pundits are. At number five, finishing in the SEC, I just don't see that happening. I think they're highly overrated. You lost a Heisman Trophy winner. You lost two first-round wide receivers. Your offensive line is spectacular, no doubt about that. I think I had them ranked number one or number two in the SEC in my offensive line rankings. So I think you'll have a really good year up front. But defense, I have no idea. I don't. First off, I do, talent-wise, it's one of the worst talent groups they've had on defense in the last ten to fifteen years. Coaches are a lot better than they were last year. Obviously, with Bo Davis taking over at the defensive line, um, as a, the defensive line coach, and um, Blake Baker taking over as the defensive coordinator. But do I think they can make that much of a difference? They were in like the one twenties last year in total defense. At best, you probably end up in the eight, late 80s, early 90s. And I think your offense comes down to where it kind of evens out. I think LSU is a 9-3 and three team. But could they make the SEC championship game? Possibly. But they could definitely spoil Alabama season and beat them and knock them out of contention. That's why I ranked that number five. This is where you can start to debate. Honestly, I think after four, actually, you start to debate. Number six, I think just this is a fun. I think this is a fun matchup. Tennessee at Georgia. Obviously, it happens pretty often, but it's still a really fun matchup. Uh, Tennessee, obviously at their highest, I think they were number one in this game, but 2022, they lost to Georgia 27, 13 and Georgia has won seven in a row versus Tennessee, including last year, 38 to 10. Can Nico, I'm Olivia or Emmy Olivia or whatever the hell you, how you pronounce his last name. Can he make a big difference here? Can he end this losing streak versus Georgia? Can this Tennessee team, I think there's this group in the middle of the SEC team, SEC teams, where one of them I think will push for a playoff spot, and the teams I'm thinking of are Tennessee, Oklahoma, and LSU. One of them will break out, and I'll throw Missouri in that as well, where I only think one of them has the potential to make the playoff. Can Tennessee beat Georgia, be competitive, and push for a playoff spot? We'll see. They are ranked seventh in the SEC preseason, so we'll have to see there. Um, And I forgot this team too. I think Texas A&M has a shot because of their schedule. I don't love the roster, but their schedule is very easy. If they beat Notre Dame week one, they can compete for the college football playoff. And that brings me to number seven. We're bringing it back. I cannot wait for it. Texas at Texas A&M. Texas set 76 and 37 all time. Last game, obviously in 2011, Texas won 27-25 on a walk-off Justin Tucker kickoff. What a game it was, and I cannot wait for this game, guys. And let me tell you, there's a real chance this is a play-in game for the SEC championship game if if Texas A&M can beat Notre Dame because their schedule's not that hard. It really isn't. Texas and Oklahoma both got off pretty lucky with their SEC schedules, and I think Texas A&M – Hurts me to say, but has a shot to make the SEC championship game. And if they have a shot to make the SEC championship game, they have a shot to make the playoff. So it's going to be very interesting there. That is my seventh game. Number eight, really fun matchup. I vividly remember Baker Mayfield's Oklahoma going to Knoxville to play this game and coming back and beating Tennessee because I think Tennessee had a pretty big lead in that game. And that is my number eight game. Tennessee at Oklahoma. It opens up uh, Oklahoma's um, slate into the SEC. It's their welcome party in the SEC. They get Tennessee at home. And I think this just is a big game, again, of that middle group of teams, that four to five group or middle tier of the SEC, who can possibly make a push to the playoff. I think this is kind of an elimination game in that fact. If Tennessee goes in and beats Oklahoma, I think Tennessee could be propelled in that playoff picture. If Oklahoma can beat Tennessee, that will give them confidence going on the road next week in Auburn, possibly win that game. And then, hell, who knows? You play Texas, I believe, after that. So that could propel you into the college football playoff picture as well. So very, very interesting game. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Beautiful, beautiful um, matchups, helmet-wise, tradition-wise, color-wise, uh, uniform-wise, everything. It's just it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, next up, I do have the Red River rivalry in here, Texas versus Oklahoma. I think Texas is a really good shot at uh, entering this game undefeated. I don't think Oklahoma will. Could they? Absolutely, they could. I think it would be a hell of a game if they do. I mean, there's a chance if both of these teams are undefeated. We're talking number two or number three in the country versus number 10 in the country. It could be the most – it could be the most meaningful Red River rivalry game in a while and the first game in the SEC. I think it's a hell of a game. I think it's going to be a lot of fun with that SEC flavor and a 2.30 kickoff. Sign me up. Let's. I cannot wait, guys. I'm so tired of just talking about these games. I cannot wait until they kick off. 
Old Miss at LSU is my number 10. Hell of a game last year. 55 to 49 down the last seconds. I remember back and forth. I thought LSU was going to win when Brian Thomas Jr. caught that touchdown with a couple minutes left. Then Old Miss comes down the field, scores. I think LSU did have a chance at the end, but there wasn't enough time. If that game had an unlimited clock, that game would have gone back and forth. It would have been like 200 to 199. Hell of a game. I think it's going to be a lot of fun this year. I think you'll see way more defense this year, though. In, in particular because Jaden Daniels won't be playing in those wide receivers, but also because I do expect LSU to be slightly better on defense. I also expect Old Miss to be a lot better on defense because of the talent they brought in. So those are my top 10 most important games into the just SEC schedule.